at the state level. They are timid about endorsing someone so soon, but Scott and Susie, once they make up their mind, they went ahead and endorse who they believe in, so give them a hand.
It has to be from your heart and your head the whole while you're out there. And even if you go to the restroom, you have to go to the restroom with uh, an escort to make sure you don't call. Now, I'm asking myself, you have your bed, right? What the hell is somebody going to tell you in the middle of this debate? Need to do, and here's how we needed to get done. That's what people like. And that's 
this. Many of you all know that back in January, even today, excuse me, even today, there are some political pundits who still consider me the long shot candidate. Thank <laughs> you. 
I also hear the skeptics who will say, well, that 999 plan is nice, but you never get it done in Washington, D.C. I'm going, why? They say, well, you don't know how Washington works. And I say, yes, I do. Senator Henry Gibson, who popularized the statement, when they feel the heat, they will see the light. He's talking about Congress. When they feel the heat, they will see the light. My job is to get Congress to introduce the legislation. And Congress will introduce the legislation, and you all are going to be my heat to put pressure on the Congress. And if y'all put as much heat on them as we got in this room tonight, we're going to get a lot of stuff done. We're going to get a lot of stuff done. But I can tell you how thrilled I am that you all are here. The campaign is going great. Some people pronounced it dead a few months ago. It's still here. Just like some people pronounced me dead when I had cancer. <laughs> Well, I'm still in it five years later, totally against the game. Yeah. Right. 